We're in the studio with Elevate and it's a system that basically brings the camera, which is right here, and the Profoto lights together to create with way more ease. I'm used to this kind of principle, but not with this much ease and this much communion between camera and lights brought together the preferred way. Hi, I'm Andrea Beluso and I'm here to play with some brand new technology that is uh, bringing e-commerce photography to a totally different level. It actually brings you so much freedom in creating and inspiring your customers, your clients with something different. So let me tell you about the lighting for this first shot. And it's very similar to the traditional way of doing e-commerce photography that we've seen so far, but with some very uh, small nuances and changes in, uh, in what I'm doing. And uh, I always work in a very different way of actually waiting until I have the model in front of me before I actually set the lights uh, to really follow the energy of what is required for that particular shot. So. Um, here I've used uh, two different lights on the background. One is a wide zoom reflector and um, it's a frosted interior. It spreads the light, it's very even. It's a direct light as opposed to the other light, which is a shallow, medium, silver umbrella. And uh, so the quality of light is different between the two. It's, uh, that one is punchy as well, it's crispy because it's silver, but it's a reflected light, so it's not as uh, intense as the wide zoom reflector. So we do have a white background, but you will see that it changes in graduation on the background itself, but in a very delicate way, just adding something more than just a plain white background that just looks like a cat out done from the machine. And you want to inspire your clients. Basically, that's what we're coming to. You want to make a difference between you and your competitors, and you want to create something greater. And that inspiration is what actually will create more for your brand. As my main light, the key light, I'm using uh, an Umbrella Deep Translucent XL and with a back panel. What this creates is a light that is very similar to light coming from a window. And I put it at a slight angle from Elevate uh, so that I'm getting some shadows my camera right on the jacket to give it more of that texture from the glitter. And uh, it brings it more alive rather than having a flat light on the model. Let's go into shot number two of the same outfit. I'm creating something more dramatic. Uh, the light is a very, very hard light with the light shaping tool that gives you the hardest light you can get with the flash. And it's the hard box. So if we look very quickly inside it, we see that uh, the, the actual flash head is pointing upwards. And that's so that the, the actual flash tube, you get the short edge and not the the whole thing and basically this is not a reflector it's an absorber it's black inside it's all black inside as you can see and uh it's it's just absorbing all the light that is not the actual light going from the center of the flash tube and if we look at the shadow now already it looks very very hard and if i bring it closer it, you see that it gets slightly softer on the edges and if i move it just a little bit like to here it gets harder and harder. So the more I move backwards, the harder that light is going to get. Now that we've done the first variation with the hard box, I'm going to do a second variation using a 10 degree grid. What grids do is that they limit the light spread and they increase the contrast. Now that I've added the grid, I'm just going to set my light which uh, is basically a process of looking at the model, moving the light around, seeing what I'm trying to create. And uh, as soon as I've found it, then I'm going to explain it. And I think that's exactly where I want to be, there. So my next step now is just to measure the light and, um, and off I shoot. So look at the shadow on the background and what it does. It's actually a hard shadow, but it got a little bit softer than uh, what it was with the previous shot with the hard box. And, um, and that's because by getting closer to the model with the light source, what you're doing is two things. One is that your light is gonna get a little bit softer. It's still extremely hard, but it's gonna be, get a bit softer. And you see that with the edge of the shadow and your background is gonna go darker. So if you want a brighter background, 
then you're further away from the subject with your light. And a lot of photographers think the opposite. They think I'm getting closer to the background, so it's going to be brighter. No, because your light is actually measured on your model, your key light. So we go on to a second look and uh, with more inspiration and still sticking with the first one, but tweaking it a little bit. So I'm using two strip soft boxes, one by four as my main lights. Uh, this is my main light, my key light. And this one is also one by four, but it's on lower power to just give me a little bit of fill on her right side. And then on the background, I have a D2 with a wide zoom reflector at position six with um, just a little bit of a feeling to kill shadows coming from this side light. So having done the first lighting with, for the second look, I'm now uh, set uh, soft grids on the 1x4 uh, strip soft boxes to create more drama. I've switched off my uh, background light, so the D2 with the wide zoom reflector that's completely off. So I just have my main light as before, but with a soft grid. I have not moved the distance. And same thing for this one here, soft grid, and that's it. And let's see what it gives us. So if we look at what we created here with putting the two soft grids on the 1x4 uh, RFI soft boxes, is that we're, we're basically amplifying what we did before and making it more dramatic. And by killing the, um, the background light, the background has gone gray as, as opposed to white. And we have this shadow on the floor, which uh, gives a nice touch. It brings it even more alive. And also, I'll just zoom in a little bit here so you can see on the face. And that key light is still very strong, more focused, more detail, more contrast. Whereas the um, side light uh, it's still just a little bit of a fill, but even that has added a little bit more extra drama than before. So now that I've set the lights, I've set the scene, I've set the tone and uh, the brand style, uh, the stylist can carry on shooting while I go and prepare the next set. See you in a minute. On this third look, um, we're still going on e-commerce, but again with a tweak. And this tweak this time is with colors. And this is a color gel and so I'm, I'm getting a touch of blue on the background and a touch of like orangey warm tone to go together and blend into each other and it changes dramatically. You can even use for instance your uh, brand colors uh, to go with it or something a palette that is for your season or whatever you come up with play with the colors and it's a lot of fun. And the main light for this shot is a narrow beam reflector and it might deceive you with the way that it looks related to its name because the light spread you think that it's very wide but in actual fact there's a spot of highlight that is very very narrow coming from this and you play with it with the pro photo zoom function so if you look at her face i'm now in position eight of the zoom and you see how it changes dramatically So you have a more diffused light or a more focused light or on the other end, it's still diffused, but in a different way. And, uh, and it's a great tool. It's a hard light again. Uh, look at the shadows under the chin. They're super, super sharp. And that's a sign of a hard light. And um, you can also play with it in another way by just doing this and you actually point the light somewhere else at the corner of the room or another subject. You could actually light two subjects, one with a hard light and one with a uh, reflected light, which is coming from, it's basically a spill light that you're using for a second subject with two different exposures. So you could actually have one closer to the camera and one further away with just one light. It's an amazing tool. And you know, e-commerce can look a little bit stale, let's be honest about it. And uh, what I'm trying to inspire you to here is to create something different and to give you total creative freedom with your lighting and create an edge between you and your competitors to inspire your customers into buying your products. Basically, that's what I'm here for. And this system gives you total freedom and creative freedom for the photographers that so far have been stuck into fixed sets with fixed lighting that they cannot move, they cannot change, 
And this way, for the photographers also, it's an added bonus of actually being photographers and actually knowing, like shaping and uh, putting their skills to work. Because, um, well, I'm actually trying to bring back the photographers into photography for e-commerce. How about that? So we've done three completely different looks with a lot of variations in terms of light in a very simple way. Sometimes just moving the light a few centimeters and sometimes actually not moving it away at all. Uh, just adding a grid and switching off the background and creating something different. What I get with this is that you really get to elevate your brand to a totally new level, doing e-commerce, doing high-end campaigns, whatever it is, and this makes your life a lot easier and your process a lot faster and smoother. How's it get better than that?